Remember, we'll be using all tables, so if you're near practicing, we will have tournament tables on all of the tables we have tournament events. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Ray Hansen, here with Pool Action TV. And we got a great match for you here. T-Rex, Tony Chohan, taking on Jason Fouch. This is a side match, undefeated. One, Here's the, whoa, look at this leg. Ron, Ron Can't even tell who's. Uh, it is a race to nine, team number one, Ron and Warren. Can't tell who, it looks like the Fouch has won the, won the leg here on Tony Chohan. Jason Fouch. Undefeated here at the Scotty Towns Memorial in the final 32 players. He's going to have his hand full here, though, with T-Rex. We're going to have uh, Larry Schwartz joining us up from Chicago here shortly. Table number 10, Cesar Carroll, Ruben Silva. Table number 10, Cesar Carroll, Ruben Silva. It is a race to nine. Table number 13. Table number 13, Chris Reinhold, Andre, Andre King, Chris Reinhold and Andre King. Table number 13. All right, Jason Fouch working hard here to get this rack. Uh, this rack, right? Okay, welcome everyone. <laughs> Getting down to the final day here of the Scotty Townsend, sixth annual Scotty Townsend Memorial Nine Ball Tournament here at Arena Billiards in West Monroe, Louisiana. I know I don't know a lot about Jason Fouch, but I do know he's undefeated. But T Rex is Tony Chohan started out this tournament defeating Josh Roberts in the finals of the one pocket, so he's the one pocket champion. Roberto Gomez won the ten ball event. So T-Rex trying to snap off this nine ball event. And Jason Fouch is all set. Like I said, Jason Fouch, if he's this far, he's doing something right. All right, ball down. Is he gonna be able to see the one? Take a peek here, did the six get him? Hard to tell. Might be able to see just that bottom edge of the one enough to cut it in the side. Nicely done. Jonathan Hennessy, Matthew Wisely, table number nine, John and Could Matt, bring this cue ball right towards nine. the four ball. <laughs> he would have liked to hit the four Shane right in the face. Eric 
well, he, he has to just decide how if he wants to swing out two rails to get the four in the side, or does he want to come up and play the four, come with the cue ball between the four and the side pocket, play the four in this bottom right corner. Don't know that he could hit it softly enough to play it in the upper right corner. Table number 22, table number 22, Alex Calderon and Boog Long, table 22. Wow, big, big mistake there. So, Tony Chohan get to look at a nice open table for table his first shot Billy here. Billy Thorpe, Joey Barnes, table 24, Billy Thorpe, Joey Barnes. This match will knock it will lock up ninth through twelfth. Pretty sporty payouts here. Table number three, Rob Saez, Lee Alford, Rob Saez, Lee Alford, table number three. All right, Tony Chohan draws first blood. First prize in the tournament is $5,000. Second prize, $2,500. Paying all the way down to 32 places. A total of $16,650 prize money in the tournament. Four, the Rivas, first, Monroe the first Jones, player's auction. Monroe, first four. prize is $23,000. Second prize is 12,660, third is 7,500, paying all the way down to 16 places. Worst you could get in the player's auction is $700, and that's for 13th through 16th place. Total prize money, first player's auction, 70,260. And Tony is gonna like this a lot. I mean, look at this, how this set up. Well, the best, best thing that's happening right now for Jason Fouch is that after that scratch he made is that it's uh, rotate breaks. But Tony felt funny on this three. He wanted to get up a little bit higher. And back with us is Ray Hansen. Hey, Larry. Yeah, he kind of he kind of jabbed at that shot a little bit. Uh, and the cue ball, you know, took all the energy. It just didn't go anywhere. Soaked it all up. The object. Yeah, that in. jab. Will, that jab can really hurt you. Put a nice smooth stroke on it, you know, and swing it around with little to no effort. It was that wasn't that. Wow. Shot. <laughs> hit that one. <laughs> that was good a great there. shot. No, he hit that great. He came right through the window. Tony looking to snap off and be a two-time champion here. He's already the one-pocket champion. Tony looked at the payouts and it got his attention. <laughs> All right. Tony tells Johan, hey, look at this shot here. Look at how he... Look at this, how he came through this tight little window. T-Rex with a two nothing lead over Jason Fouch. Open 
All right, Jason Fouch at the table. Jason Fouch got quite a bit of uh, jewelry around his neck. I mean, it, came, it gave me an idea. How about something around your neck that weighs you down and uh, makes you keep your head down? For players that jump off, I'm not. I'm positive that's not why Jason has that around his neck, but uh, it gave me an idea. If you get enough enough weight, it'd be impossible to jump up. One of the worst things you could do in pool. I'll tell you one. The first one that would experiment with that, but he already stays down because he's experimenting mentored with everything out there is Earl Strickland. He's come with hockey gloves and everything. So, uh, but Earl, world champion, his stroke and his staying down is already, doesn't need any improvement. Wow, he overshot that, too. So both, Tony Johan is going to get to start out with ball in hand on both of Jason Fouch's breaks. And this is a race to seven. Tony doesn't waste any time at all. He might have come back here. I wish he took a little more time here. He can't. He can't believe it. He's looking. He's like, what did I just do? He's trying to hand me this money, and I'm uh, not taking it. Using that six ball, but he's going to be okay on this leave. Pretty well, too. Does Tony sit right there and just play it in the corner? Exactly. Perfect angle. Draw it back. That got Tony's attention. Not getting position on the shot with ball in hand. Johan going to pocket this nine ball. Take a three nothing lead. Started out with 143 players and then we're winding down quickly. Three percent done with this tournament. on that 142 players.
total amount of matches we have to play is 283. We've already played 236 matches. Well, he's not getting this back. I mean, not that he doesn't have a nice escape. Yeah, exactly where he's looking to come into this. Like to come into the far side of the one. At least he get, he get action at the nine. And the cue ball could track right behind the five or six. All right. Tony Chohan. Going to start out with ball in hand. Again. Didn't want to get there. Wanted to be a little bit straighter. But beautiful, beautiful cue ball. Wouldn't expect anything less from Tony. Watch how Tony going to just drop two rails up there in the by the upper left corner and just drop down below that five. T-Rex does it all. World-class one-pocket player in my, uh, my opinion. He's world-class at all games. Won the one-pocket, Derby City one-pocket this year. Chohan for nothing in this race to seven. This is winter side action here at the sixth annual Scotty Towns and Memorial Nine Ball Tournament. Coming to you live from Arena Billiards in West Monroe, Louisiana. We'll be here all day and this evening until we crown a champion of this event. We already we also have a ladies event going on at the same time. So if you're in the area, stop into Arena Billiards. Beautiful establishment, good food, great hospitality. You get the southern hospitality, which I love. So Jason Fouch to break, rack number five. Players have taken a short break. We're going to do the same thing. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. And that was a very short break. Gotta be happy it's a dry break. Well, let's see if Tony just goes at this kick and stick, or is he going to roll out? I mean he could do two two things. If he could get up to the end rail, come back with a little bit of left spin softly, leave the cue ball on top of the four. 
just hard enough to get the one to the right rail. Just gonna roll out. I don't see him getting this one back, but I don't see Jason Fouch moving out of his chair. He might wish he did. And then wrong. <laughs> well, he had everything going the way he wanted to, just not enough uh, power. Well, it looks like he just needs to pocket this ball. The nine, the nine ball will hold the cue ball. Take a look from this view here. So looks like you just come forward two rails. And that's, well, he got fortunate he wasn't jacked up. I mean, he's Tony under hitting him and Jason over hitting him. Nicely done. Jason Fouch is going to get on the board. All right. Tony Chohan gets the break. Four to one, Tony in this race to seven, winner side action. I'm Larry Schwartz with Pool Action TV. Like I said, we'll be with you, bringing you all the action live right here from Arena Billiards in West Monroe, Louisiana. So you're in the right place. These guys are playing for a huge payday. I mentioned 70,260 raised in the first auction. 
the tournament has 16650 and we'll give you, when we get that, we'll give you the second auction. There was another auction, if you didn't see it, and that was with the players that are left, the final 32. Tony might overhit this one. Tony with that effortless stroke brought that cue ball back like it, like it was nothing. Holds the cue so lightly. Also, he looks like he could see it. No problem. Tony looks nine, Shalon and all that at the table. Believe me, you got a lot of killer in them. This match will be playing the winner of Warren Kiamko and Lon Williamson. They are playing right now. So, like I said, this this match, they both have 17 through 24th locked up. This match will move them. Wow. With a miscue, he still made it. So, you know, it's pretty nice when you come with this and you still make it. It's almost like speed, and then you don't get a ticket. All right, Tony Johan wins six game. Five to one lead for Tony. Also, I'm very impressed with Ruben Silva's performance here undefeated playing Caesar Caesar Carroll right now on the winner's side Rubens whoever wasn't familiar with him and has been following this tournament the 10 ball and the nine ball they are now familiar with Ruben Silva Ruben has been on a real terror out of Tucson Arizona Ruben Silva wow Chris Reinhold playing Andre King on the winner's side. So a lot of, a lot of great matches going on right now. Everybody uh, I'm playing. Most players that are left are playing. Billy Thorpe is left. Jonathan Hennessy on the winner's side. Playing Matthew Weasley. Well, he's got one down. He's just got to make this. He's got to overcut this one just a little bit to make the seven. And just, you don't want to hit it too hard. You don't want the one ball to go anywhere after it makes the seven. You don't want it to go far. Well, he, he went another way, and he got table there. Six, table number six, ladies' side winner. Ladies, Matt, winner's side. Sorry. Lisa and Hopi, Lisa and Hopi, table number six. Lisa Orr, Hopi Lawrence, race to seven, table six. Wow, that's tight.
beautiful shot. Well, you know, you know Jason Fouch, if you haven't seen him play, you know he could play still on the winner's side. Down to the final 32 players in the tournament. This also takes both these players into the guaranteed money in the first player's auction, which pays 16 places. Right now, they both have 17 through 24th locked up. So this is a huge match right here. A lot of money on the line. Also a chance to win the tournament. Right, nicely done. Jason Fouch to two. Tony Chohan to break. Our 10 ball event was won by Roberto Gomez defeating Josh Roberts in the finals. And, and like I mentioned, you're looking at our one pocket champion, T Rex, Tony Johan, defeating Josh Roberts again, coming in second in that. He's knocked out of this event, but uh, T Rex beat him six to three in the finals of the one pocket the other day. And this is a dry break for Tony, so another break for Jason Fouch. Well, Well, it's nice when you just put all your focus on making this ball neat to get. Doesn't want to get too far over here. But he should be fine. He has that nice. Well, he still has to come with a lot of inside English to hold this cue ball for the six. Perfect. Perfect. So Jason Fouch not going away. He's fired up. He'd like to take this match down and come back. A couple mistakes in the first two. In his first two games, he scratch gave Tony Chohan ball in hand. He'd like to get a reprieve here. He'll be breaking to pull within one should he get out here. First uh, TV table match that I've seen for Jason. Like Ray's mentioned, I've mentioned, you know, it's a little bit different on that TV table with the lights and the extra lights, cameras. You need some seasoning. All right, Jason 
takes care of business. Break into pull within one.
All right, I'm back. Some hiccups uh, straightened out, and uh, Tony Chohan wins game 10, takes a 6-4 lead. Tony Chohan to the hill, but it is Jason Fouch's break, so still anybody's match. Jason breaks and runs out. He's pulls within one. Breaking them pretty well, Jason. And the game lost the cue ball a few times, but other than that, I could see why Jason is as far as he is, and I think he's getting comfortable as each game goes on on this TV table. Well, dry break. I, I got him with the commentator jinx. Well, his first shot for Tony to get on the two looks like it's going to be the whole deal. Come out and get on the combination. that one a huge break here for Jason Fouch Tony very frustrated there you can see the frustration Just needs to pull it back right around that. Just before where the cue ball is now. You always want to keep enough angle where the cue ball. You just have to control the speed on the cue ball. To get it to play position. So you don't want to get flat on the five. And that means too far back. Still has a little bit of work here. Might just have to move over to the long rail, that left rail, and shoot that seven from right there where he's looking, which isn't that bad. Doesn't need to try to get closer. All he wants to do is just keep a, like right there, Well, Jason Fouch is playing stronger than he did when this match started. He's going to pull within one. Will be Tony Chohan's break to close out the match. Tony Vichonhan doesn't close it out. Jason Fouch will be breaking to close out the match. Well, we got some excitement here. Anybody thought that headed for the exits, thought this was going to be just a, a blowout. 
Jason Fouch. Had something else in store for you. Dry break. I don't think Jason Fouch has realized that yet he hasn't moved out of his chair. But a lot of work. The one to the one to the two, and then the two back up to the three. Uh, My apologies. This is winter side action. They're going to nine on this winter side. It's the one loss side. They're going to seven. So this is race to nine. So a lot of pool left in this set. Get down this four nine combination. Which he did, did a nice job of it. Just like that. We're all tied up at six. Now it's a race to three. With Jason Fouch breaking first. Man, what a different station pouch from the opening of this match. Table number 10, table number 10, fantastic matchup. Roberto Gomez, Tim Miller. Roberto Gomez, Tim Miller, table number 10. Jason Hill just called off Roberto Gomez and his match. That's one loss side. So you wouldn't expect the number one blind bid in the opening up in the open auction to be on the one loss side. But Billy Thorpe is on the one loss side. Josh Roberts is out.
good as Brad Wiest playing. Brad Wiest knocked out Josh Roberts, seven to four. Well, Tony will take that little roll. He would be, be okay, too, if that one ball fell. Just play that little carom on the 3-9. Now he'd like to get the cue ball right where it is. That would be ideal. I mean, you got to, if he could miss that five ball, Nothing to it. Tony Chohan keeps the upper hand in this match. Goes to a 7-6 lead. This is a race to nine. Winner side action. One loss side is a race to seven. Now Tony's breaking to get to the hill. See if Tony going to come with some slice and dice here. Cut that one in that upper right corner. I like myself playing safe like he's looking. Well, how about that? Needs a bounce here. Man, oh man, what a shot by T-Rex, Tony Chohan. Well, Tony Colt Chohan putting on a little clinic here in this game. Showing his one pocket uh, skills. Well, he needs it to get legs. He's going to have to. Well, he got there. He actually got there. Tony's <laughs> like. First bank he missed, and he's given Jason Fouch a chance to tie this set up, and Jason will be breaking to get to the hill first. So what a big miss after two great shots in this game. That's a gigantic break for Jason.
All right, we're all tied up. I stepped away a second. I'm back. Jason Bouch looking to go to the hill first. Well, let's see. Does Tony have a pocket? That's the question. If he doesn't have a pocket, he has a cross corner. Kind of like the cross corner, keeping the cue ball right on top of the... Oh, he had a big pocket. Didn't look like it went. Tony needs to be able to get on the floor to pull back for that. He doesn't have to, but now from here, I'm sure he's going to just play this five right in that upper left corner. the side like he did and it was nicely done too I know he's straight so he's gonna have to pull it back just take a if he is perfectly straight just draw back and take a longer shot on the seven I mean he's he's like he can even go forward play it down in the bottom right but he doesn't like drawing it back because he's scared of, he thinks that side pockets in the way but I think he can miss it This is exactly what he's doing. You just got to take this shot on the seven. Which should be a piece of cake for Tony. 
All right, Tony's going to go to the hill first and be breaking. Jason Fouch. Are we going to see Jason Fouch again? Or it'll all be question will be answered in a second after Tony breaks. seen quite a few drive breaks in this match. And we're going to see another one. Can he bring that cue ball towards the nine? And he's going to have that cover from the seven and four. Well, he just missed getting it. He wanted to go towards the nine, but he got fortunate that the two ball got between the one and cue ball. What a shot. I didn't even know that he could see that. Tony, as well as he shoots these kind of shots, he'll wedge him right behind the nine, but he's not done like that. He wants to go out. He wanted a collision, no collision. Now, no, sh not sure if the four passes. But he can bunt this ball. Just to the right side of the four, you know, his right side and the bottom side here and just softly get behind the eight. At least the five is there, but he thinks he can sneak this by. But the shot I'm talking about is probably more touchy than trying to shoot this four ball. The eight's a huge ball. Wow. So are we going to have hill hill action here? Sure looks like it. It's all going to be this four ball. It probably should be the toughest shot he has. A little bit of hill hill action, but Jason Fouch will be breaking. So I'm wondering if Tony's going to rethink that and say, maybe I should have played safe on the three ball.
Wow. Well, let's see. Be, uh, Tony going to knock this 8-9 combination. Unfortunate for Jason Fouch. Felt a little bit funny. I don't know if he's if he walked over to Tony. I'm not sure. Yeah, he said that's good. He's unscrewed his cue. So Tony Chohan has defeated Jason Fouch, 9-7. to seven. Jason really, really played a real nice match, got strong. Both players let a few games get away. Jason just let that last shot get away. So I'm Larry Schwartz with Pool Action TV. We've been coming to you live from the 6th Annual Scotty Townsend Memorial Nine Ball Tournament. We're here in West Monroe, Louisiana. Arena Billiards. Stay tuned. We're going to be back with another great match. Thanks for joining us.